How to Construct the Perfect Launch Plan The first thing to know about a product launch is that the focus is on the customer. When you are out there in front of the people, it's very tempting to talk about the features of the product. It's true that a lot of people want to talk about the technicalities or the specs, if you will. But remember that that information can be found on the website or any number of new reports that will be filed after the event. What you must tell them is how the product changes their life. Focus on the buyer, not just the product. Talk about the comfort of the product. Talk about how specific it is to a particular situation and help them understand why it simplifies the task at hand and in turn simplifies their life. That is what makes it exciting for the users. Research shows that over 40% of startups do not succeed because their products do not fit the market. Sometimes the reason is that your marketing team has failed to communicate just that to the user, even when they had a good product in hand. Get opinion makers to weigh in. Then you move on to getting the opinion makers on board. By using opinion makers, you get everyone to talk about the product long before the launch. This is what was mentioned earlier about getting predictions out. If you are an established brand, you have a competitive edge here. If you are known to create innovative products, even better. But even if not, you can always get the big names in the media discussing what your product is all about. Don't hesitate to be bold. The next step is to take the big idea and present it as such. A revolutionary idea will catch on even if it's not its time. Let that be the one thing we learn from Steve Jobs. Every good product has the capacity to change at least one thing about its business. That's what you need to focus on. Make a pitch that knocks the socks off your competitors. Make the event a spectacle. Your fourth step should be about turning the product launch into a carnival. Don't let someone enter and spout out marketing facts. That's really not what anyone wants to see. Plan for pre-orders. Next, a product launch is also a great time for pre-orders. A lot of businesses miss out on this step, and it's a critical one. When you build the momentum for your product, you want to cash in on that excitement and get some sales done. Be clear about product positioning. Then there is the matter of positioning your product. When it comes to beating the competition, there are a lot of things to take care of. You need the features and pricing in order. That depends on the initial positioning of your product in the market. This is a key part of a successful product launch because it's the first impression and sticks around for longer than you might imagine. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.